Well, hello and oh, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. And I know y'all are gonna enjoy this one. This is a Sunshine Home, part of the ARC series. It's gonna be the model number 1680, 8012. Three bedroom, two bath, it's single wide, 1180 square foot. Now when I walked in, I totally forgot it was a single wide because looking at the kitchen layout, you would never think that it was a single wide when you first walked in. Now the ARC series is our entry level series. Don't let that turn you away. There's a lot of really nice stuff in this one, especially the cabinets. The appliances they use are top of the line appliances. That's all they use in their homes now. And with that said, well, yeah, we can't forget to tell you where I'm at. The 2024 Biloxi Home Show. Now let's uh, head in. So as we come on in, you can see you've got a good sized living room. You got the electric fireplace with the ship lap, and that is a huge TV. So you got tells you you got lots of room there. Come around to our kitchen you can see you've got the peninsula instead of an island so it just kind of breaks up the kitchen but yet it makes the kitchen really large we have drawers over doors in our cabinets now remember this is a entry-level home and look at the cabinetry they used Looks really good. Almost looks like a kind of a mahogany color, but uh, not quite. Like I said, you've got the Beko appliance package. And you've got your pantry around your fridge. We've got a corner cabinet over here. So outside of the walls being VOG, there's really nothing they skimped on in this home. And I know that a lot of their homes are made in the same factory as their higher end homes. So sheetrock might be an option. So we'll come back and get the dining room and all that good stuff. Let's go down and check out the bedrooms and then we'll come back this end. My guess is that the bathroom or the tub is going to butt right up against where that closet was. Yep. So that's why the bathroom is a little bit on the shallower side because they got both the closets are going to be back behind there. The shower tub combo. Still the same cabinets as what you had in the kitchen. Looks really, really good. Hello, Raiden. into our back bedroom. Now the way they've done these, with these newer strips on them, you can't even hardly see the seams in the walls. It's a nice little update that they've done. 
looks really good. So get you a close up. If we come this way, see, you can't even see them. <laughs> if I didn't even realize it was VOG when I first walked in. And now we can come down to this end. So here is our dining room area. Of course your furnace is right there. Two lights over your table. I really like the area that they've got for the dining room. It really, you wouldn't think you'd have that much room for a big table like that. And no, it's a new barn door. It's a double swinger. Comes into your utility room. There's your back door and our water heater and our breaker box. It's nice to see that the water heater is not in a closet. And as we come into the bathroom, you can see you've got separate shower and tub. I mean, there's no hiding this one. You just kind of got to walk in and it's right there. And it's a large tub. And then your shower with the nice bench down here at the end. So just a single sink over here. But once again, you can't even hardly see the seams in the wall. Now as we come around, we got the big walk-in closet. Once again, something you don't usually get in your single wide is a closet this big. This rivals closets of double whites. And what else you should be doing is rivaling the other channels and leaving more comments here than you do anywhere else. <laughs> I don't know if that flows together very well, but anyway. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this home and know what kind of upgrades would you like to see, what kind of color changes would you like, that kind of stuff. And uh, while you're there, do not forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, that is the ARC series by Sunshine Homes, model number 1680-8012. Sorry about the measurements on it, as you can see on the floor plans, not that you can see very well, but they only gave me the lengthwise measurements on it. They didn't give me the width measurements. And unfortunately, my normal tool that I use, you know, uh, manufacturedhomes.com, I normally use them, pull up the, uh, the Matterport floor plan and take measurement. Unfortunately, that tool is unavailable to me at the moment because we got no internet here. <laughs> yeah, somebody hit a fiber optic junction box and demolished it. We've been without internet for 24 hours now. So if we don't get internet soon in order to get this uploaded, I'm going to have to pull it off the main computer, put it on my laptop, head to either Kalispell or Missoula, and uh, hit some free Wi-Fi at McDonald's or Starbucks or something like that. So that I can get this video uploaded for you. A lot of board games have been played in the last 24 hours. We gotta get some price information on this home. Once again, I didn't get the price directly from the manufacturer. I had to kind of look that up. And so I kind of went for a quick drive so I could get some internet access so I could find the price for you. It looks like this one, based on everything that I've been able to find, 
being that it is a, not to say an entry level, but it is their more affordable lineup than their uh, top of the line Prime Series. This one comes in between $95,000 to $120,000 based on options and things like that is what I've been seeing it go for online. So that depends on location, you know, it depends on freight charges, things like that. Also the options. Between three different dealers that I found this home listed at, that was what I was able to come up with as a price range for you, as an estimated price. Because this was filmed at a home show, so it's hard to get an actual price for it. I really like the, you know, the especially the new way they're doing the, uh, the strips on the walls. I know the camera didn't do it justice. It could have, it looked a lot better in person. If you like the home show videos, check out this playlist over here or check out this really nice kind of modern rustic uh, sunshine home that I just put up not too long ago. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.